Dear Future CEO, Growing a business is one of the most spiritual undertakings we can have in our lifetimes. It also may be the most difficult. You are assuming a leadership position very few will accept in their lifetimes. The day you become a CEO, everything changes. <laughs> you may not feel it, but trust me, your world is a different place. The people around you will see you as their CEO first, as a friend and a person second. You no longer speak for yourself. You are speaking as the CEO. What you say will be heard through a megaphone. What you do will be seen through a microscope. You will no longer show up as yourself. You are now the CEO. You will be committing to a life of vulnerability and exposure that normal people just can't handle. You will be made fun of, ridiculed, questioned, talked about, gossiped about, judged unfairly, and even looked down on just because you're a CEO. There's a large segment of the population that will dislike you only because you are trying to be successful. When you are successful, there's an even larger percentage of the population who will dislike you for actually achieving success. When the pressure and noise gets unbearable, embrace that part of you that compels you forward regardless of what happens. Embrace that resolved, obsessive, obscenely driven part of you that have always felt broken. Nurture the part of you that has felt crazy because it told you that everyone else is wrong. It is right. Believe the quiet voice that says you have to do this, you can do this, you should do this, you must do this, and you will do this. Don't be deterred when those nearest to you don't share what is going on in their lives. Most people don't know how to approach a CEO. People will change how they behave around you. Most people don't know how to act around a CEO. When you go to a party, quickly identify another CEO and you will have someone to talk to. People don't relate to CEOs. We relate to each other. If things go well and you grow a team, you will feel like the last to know. Be the last to know. Feel threatened, be threatened, get deceived, get caught off guard, be taken advantage of, get stolen from. 90% of us experience embezzlement. You'll be surprised by the behavior of those around you. You'll be exposed by the behavior of those around you. You'll have abrupt transitions in close relationships. But if you keep going, eventually you will realize how often you are wrong, admit your many mistakes, apologize for your many mistakes, make less of them and Admit to yourself that no matter what, you can't do it all yourself. And if you are willing to increase the level of transparency you use with the people around you, you will recruit them into your mission and move forward together. You will grow a team you are excited about, grow your company, and make your greatest contribution. I have only one warning. Before you begin, make sure you have a deep connection to the market you will serve and the difference you will make. Spend time each day increasing that level of connection and make it one of the most important things in your life. Be obsessed with those you serve. There is a time for every CEO where money is no longer enough. That may feel inconceivable right now, but it happens to every one of us. For most, it comes much faster than expected. Your world will irrevocably change when the money you have been fighting for your entire life is in a bank account and growing. Especially if your team does most of the work to get it there. You will have to firmly transition what you are fighting for. This is the transition where CEOs without a deep connection to their market check out, self-sabotage, don't get the help they need and fail to move forward. For those who have that deep connection to their market, this is the transition where anything becomes possible. As a CEO, you exchange the freedom of being just like everyone else for the freedom of achieving your greatest contribution. I have been in this position most of my professional career and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Every great person in history that matters to be remembered has been on the journey you are on. People like us are the only constant cause of positive human evolution and we always will be. It is now your turn. If you know you're here to change the world, believe in your mission more than anything else, and know you can't turn it off, then you are in exactly the right place. Congratulations and welcome. Oh, and by the way, anyone who ever tells you it's going to be easier than I described is trying to sell you something that isn't going to work. 
run from them. Feel free to share this with any CEO who you think needs it.